AI made a vlog? Let's get straight into this. Casey. It's good to see Casey back vlogging, man. Oh, it's written by vlog. I thought it was gonna be edited. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh wow. This is actually genius. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're exploring downtown Manhattan. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, this is mad creative. Downtown Manhattan is such a vibrant and diverse part of the city. <laughs> this right here is One World Trade Center. It's an iconic landmark and a symbol of strength and resilience. Bro, this is too funny. The Oculus is not only a transportation hub, but also an architectural marvel. <laughs> Let's take a quick look inside Brookfield Place, one of my favorite spots in downtown Manhattan. This is the Winter Garden. Is he glitching? It's a great place to relax, grab a bite, or just enjoy the view. I love, 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 love this man. And now, let's pay Candace a quick visit. Why is Casey out here acting like an NPC undone? I get it though. It's the concept of the, of the vlog. Him talking like an AI, reading the script from the AI is literally genius, man. <laughs> Only Casey can do this, though, man. What's new at the office, Candace? We're working on some exciting new projects, but it's top secret for now. You have to wait and see. I'm done. Sounds intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> Battery Park is a great place to unwind and take in the views of the Statue of Liberty. There she is, Lady Liberty. <laughs> you know you gotta have you them drone shots. downtown Manhattan without stopping by the Charging Bull. That's it for today's tour of downtown Manhattan. I hope you enjoyed exploring with me. I'm done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs> I love how he has him doing all the landmarks. That was the worst. That was the worst video I've ever made. That video sucked. <laughs> and no, it, it sucked didn't. because it, it 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 had no humanity. It had no depth to it. No soul to it. But see, he made it funny, so I guess it, it works as Casey does it in his own way. <laughs> but just in general, yeah. <laughs> which, which brings me to my take on where AI meets creativity, at least as it stands right now in 2023. AI has no soul. And I think creativity, whether it's like music or YouTube videos or a painting or whatever else it might be, the greater humanity that is embodied within that, that creative expression, the more it means to you, me, the viewer, the listener. It's like a really sad song that brings you to tears. You know whoever wrote that song or whoever's singing that song, you know that, that they were feeling something when they wrote those lyrics, when they, when they said those lyrics. Big when facts. Ghostface Killer said, 15 of us in a three bedroom apartment, roaches everywhere, cousins and aunts was there. Like, you know that he experienced that and that affects Facts. you. Facts. And this vlog is just so basic. There's no depth to it. The writing that the AI provided me with and in GPT-4's defense, GPT-4 is the AI program that I use to write this video. In its defense, I could have gone deeper with the prompts and perhaps it could have faked having a soul a little bit more. But as it stands now, it, it felt robotic. It felt basic. 
it felt like a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy of something that maybe was good. Um, maybe it'll get better. I kind of hope it doesn't because I like uh, creative expression. When it now, I will say it's definitely going to get better. It's 100% going to get better. Uh, I've heard some of the AI made songs and they sound. I know y'all probably didn't heard them by now. If you haven't, just look up AI made songs and you will find some amazing amazing <laughs> sound of likes man like it's insanely well done it's like you see the ai art now and i feel like it's just not being released but i give it about five years and it's gonna be like crazy insane like insane but also like from an artist standpoint myself i'm just like bro how how are they gonna balance this when it comes to artists creatives you know, cause it's just like, what about the people who actually make music like me? What about the people who actually make content like Casey? What about the people who actually make digital art? Like the artists is out there. Like, what do we stand in all this? You know? So I definitely understand him when he says he hope it doesn't get better. Cause it's just like, it's very scary. Very scary. It originates with humans and not with robots. But for now, for now, I think I'm going to go back to using my, um, my human organic non uh, AI brain to write my videos. facts. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Casey, man. Hey, one of the geniuses who started this whole YouTube thing and vlogging. Been watching him for years now. He's one of the main reasons I made YouTube videos today. But hey, man. Till next time, deuces. <laughs>